Hello and welcome back. Today I will talk about determinant of elementary matrices. So what is the goal? The goal is to calculate the determinant of elementary matrices, okay, for each type. Theorem 6.3.2. Let E be an n by n elementary matrix. Okay, let me just emphasize this is just elementary Okay. A, if E results from interchanging two rows of I, then, here it is, then the determinant of E is minus one. Let's see why. Okay, if uh, E results from interchanging two rows of I, then that means I had I, and I did the operation and I got E by interchanging two rows. And if you remember in one of the previous videos, we discussed that this operation will affect uh, the determinants in this way. Determinant of E is minus determinant of I. And of course, you guys know determinant of I is one. That's why the answer is negative one. B. If E results from multiplying one row of I by K, then the determinant of E is just uh, K power N. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. It's multiplying one row. Okay. Let's see why. Well, again, take I and apply the operation E, how? You take, uh, you multiply K to RI and replace RI by that. And if you remember, we discussed before that, then if you look at the determinant of E, you know that there's K in I throw, just pull out that K, then you end up with the determinant of I, yes? And that is just k times 1, which is k. And then the last one says, if part C, if E results from adding a multiple of row I, a multiple of a row of I to another row, then the determinant of E is just 1. Let's see why. Well, we, had, we have I. The operation we do is we take one row of i, we multiply k, we add it to rj, and we replace rj by that. We end up with e. But if you remember, we discussed before that the third type row operation will not change the determinant. That's why determinant of the second matrix e equals determinant of the first matrix i. That is just one. Good. So I would like to emphasize whenever someone gives you an elementary matrix and asks you to find the determinant, then you have only three possibilities. Either the answer is one, minus one, or K, where K appears in one of those diagonals. Think about it, why in the diagonal, okay? Uh, this was a very short video and uh, it's enough uh, for today. Uh, enjoy your time.